Now, in our previous lesson, we said that VAT is paid every other month. That means if, for example, you are considering the period, the tax period, January, then for all the sales that you've made in January and all the purchases you've made in January, you shall account for that VAT at the end of January and make sure that you pay that VAT over to the commissioner by the 20th of February, uh, whatever year it is. So every other, the tax period here is every other month, Jan, Feb, up to December. And the payment date is 20th of the consecutive month. So Jan, Feb, if it is November, December, if it is June, July. So now, under this tax point, we are asking, now that you're paying VAT every other month, or we are accounting for it every other month, at what point does VAT become due and payable? In full recognition that we are selling on continuous basis. Every other day when you open business, we are buying and we are selling. So in the light of that, tax becomes due and payable at the earliest of three circumstances. So the first thing is it will be payable at the earliest of one delivery, two invoice, three payment, whether in part or whether it's paid in full. Four, an architect's certificate. That would be in respect of construction contracts. So let's look at those four circumstances. So remember, in the month that any of this happens, you're going to account for VAT. So if, let's take an example again, January. So if whatever happens, whatever comes first out of these four is when you're going to account for VAT. So delivery, this one, you will have a delivery note as proof of delivery. So you're not looking at the terms. It's only that you sold or you delivered goods to a customer or goods were delivered to you. Remember we said you, it's got to be a business, not individuals. Then the other one is invoice. So the invoice has a date. But remember, you're allowed to write an invoice even 14 days, up to 14 days uh, from the date of the transaction. So from day zero or day one of the transaction up to 14 days. You have that window to do the invoice. So whatever date you are going to have, then payment part in full. Now this applies where uh, the terms of trade are, for example, cash with order. So you've already informed the customers, we need to process your order fine. But for us to be able to do that, you need to do a down, a down payment or a deposit. So when that deposit is done, you've already received part payment for that particular transaction, account for it in the month that you received the, the part payment or full payment, depending on whatever you have agreed with the customer. Then architect certificate, if it is a construction contract that's taking, let's say, three, four years or more than one accounting period, you find that the value of work certified must be done by a professional. So once that work has been certified, the professional is going to issue a document proving that the work has already been done. So that is what you're calling an architect's certificate. It could be a surveyor, it could be a supervisor, so long as it is someone who's authorized to determine the value of work done. And the basis of which, of course, now the contractor will receive the money. So you're saying again that you compare the date of delivery and the date of invoice and the date when you received part or full payment and the date that uh, appears on the architect certificate. Whichever comes first, that is when or the period, the tax period, that that transaction will be accounted for for uh, VAT purposes. Mm -hmm.